Okay. I'm just kidding. You can go. I can totally be in a video. What's up, guys? My name's Eric, and I got a cool scooter. <laughs> Get out. I'm surrounded by children. I am surrounded by them. Look at him. Look at that child. Look at that child. He really is. Get over here. Stop f***ing with the wheels. You're going to make the wheels really flat and dirty. No, no, no jumping on that scooter. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alex from Fitment Industries. And today we're going to be talking to you about different kinds of wheel designs. We're going to be talking about concave. We're going to be talking about deep lip. And then we're going to talk about that redheaded stepchild that is both of them, the concave lip mix. So before we get into it, we're just going to give you a little bit of a brief history lesson that is all about wheels before these designs. Now, probably the most iconic wheel design back in the early 2000s was actually not even a concave design. It was the convex wheel. So if you guys remember the convex, it was that wheel that had the mounting hub and then it bent backwards towards the inside of the wheel. And back in the day, that was the jam. And then, you know, everybody got older, then it wasn't really cool anymore. And then they just happened to be on a 2001 Porsche that some kid owned that it ultimately had to give them up because they just weren't cool anymore. If you're wondering who I'm talking about, I'm talking about me. Convex wheels were a thing of the past and they have been since very well gone. There's been a lot of people that have taken them and kind of have changed them around a little bit to go more on a retro style. But for the most part, you're not gonna see a lot of convex wheels in the current day and age. There's a couple from TSW and that's pretty much it. After the convex style, you had the flat wheel design. If you guys remember the flat straight up and down, nobody really cared about lip. Nobody really cared about concavity or convex, nothing like that. They just wanted a nice flat design, something that made the wheel look as big as possible. And then what happened over time is people were like, that's not enough depth. We want something cooler, we want something bigger, we want something that looks meaner. And over the course of the years, cars, wheel wells got a lot wider. And over time, you had cars like the Camaro, you had cars like the Mustang and things like that, that ultimately started upsizing their wheels. It really started with a lot of the luxury style wheels and AMG and Mercedes and things like that that were offering on a lot of their cars, these premium style wheels. And so the community and the businesses and the companies in the wheel game replied. And they replied to with the concave wheel. Now, the concave wheel is something that is extremely popular right now. It looks great on a lot of big wheel well vehicles. It looks great on Mustangs, it looks great on Camaros, it looks great on pretty much anything that isn't going to only take an 18. Anything 18 plus always looks killer with these designs. And on top of that, a lot of these concave wheels feature a very similar spoke style. They call it the infinite spoke. It's something that was actually kind of held onto by, uh, what's the company's name? Infinite spoke. Oh, the infinite spoke is something that's really been held onto by a lot of the Vossen team. So the Vossen company was really one of the guys that coined it. They are the ones that put the essentially the spoke all the way to the edge, give it that bigger design. And then over time, these things got huge. So this is the Rohana. This is the RFX 11 in gloss black. Rohana, they always help us out and send us a whole bunch of cool wheels. This is one of them. And you're gonna notice that with concave wheels, it puts the whole, it'll bend the whole spoke back. And then the mounting hub surface is almost hidden if you look at it from a certain direction. And these have become extremely iconic with a lot of cars. On top of that, these wheels are predominantly one piece, either rotary forged, fully forged, or cast. This one here is rotary forged because it's so big that with the rotary forging, it saves a lot of weight and is great for a car that actually has a little bit of horsepower behind it. Now, people loved the concave. It's still probably one of my favorite looks, but at the end of the day, it still is a style that not everybody's attuned to. So then what ended up happening is something that's kind of crept up and something that's happened in the domestic market since ever is people really, really liked the Japanese style wheels, not just Japanese style wheels, but really everything that just came from Japan. In the early 90s, the JDM culture was the iconic booming of what makes the import scene what it is today. And a lot of people that are your age and my age know the JDM scene from the 90s and that's what makes them so iconic. And I can tell you right now, this did not come from overseas. This is more of an America style design. This is something that's a little bit more America style oriented. It's just something that we kind of do. But in terms of the deep lip, that's usually a lot of the Japanese culture, a lot of the old Japanese wheels. And so you have companies like, I'm gonna scoot over this way. You have a lot of companies like this. Now this is the ESR, this is the ES1T. This is a two-toned candy brush. This is like, you know, what the cool kids call. This is like a straight flex from ESR. This is everything that ESR could possibly do for you pretty much in one single wheel. To Titanium hardware, two-tone, all of it, ceramic coated, cleared, everything you could possibly imagine. We get like 90 emails on this wheel a day and then we tell them how much it costs and then we never get a reply back. It costs a lot of money. If it looks like it costs a lot of money, it definitely does cost a lot of money. And this has that iconic deep 
lip. So if you look at this, this is probably a four and a half to five and a half inch lip. You are looking at a very flat face on the overall design, and this is actually a 12 wide overall on the wheel. So you have a huge chunk that is just straight lip. Now this is a carbon fiber inlay, so it's gonna have a really nice step lip to it as well. But this was a wheel that a lot of people started to do, especially considering once they got into the over fender and wide body game. Now, if you didn't know, over fendered wide bodies are taking over the world, it seems like. It's at a lot of shows, it's at a lot of trade shows, it's at SEMA every year, more and more cars end up having wide body and over fendered cars. And this is how they do it. With the deep lip, they have this, they have the 12 wide, and it looks absolutely killer. We'll drop a couple videos as we're talking about it. So Rohana Rotary Forge, this one piece concave wheel, has a couple benefits to it. One, it's a fraction of the cost of this. Number two, these are a little bit easier to get a hold of in the long-term scheme of things. These are almost always pre-made. They're ready to roll the moment you buy or the moment they ship, you're pretty much ready to roll. Wheels like this, on the other hand, are like 12 week manufacturing time. They're way more expensive. And in terms of how much work it actually takes to get a multi-piece wheel, it is a little bit tougher. You have to know the specs that you want. You wanna know everything that you're looking to do. If you have a big brake kit, you have to go out and do the measurements for the company usually. They will not do it for you. But on the other hand, this is just a badass looking wheel. The deep lip is something that just looks killer. And this is probably the most trendy design right now in terms of the two. But then finally what happened is you came along as this like redheaded stepchild sort of thing where people are like, I want concavity and I want a deep lip and I want both. And wheel companies for a couple of years were like, you can't do that. You can only have one or you can have the other. Well, finally, car companies just essentially were like, you know what, we'll just start doing it. And then you had both American companies and Japanese companies like work, you had companies uh, overseas, you had companies like ESR, MV Forge, you had other companies that were doing these multi-piece wheels. Rotiform is iconic for it. 3SCM is just getting into it. And they're like, yo, we can do both for you. So enter in the concept one wheel. This is a CF003S. X, I believe, or just the X. And this is a combination of the two. This is the hybrid wheel. So you're gonna notice that this thing also has a killer lip. In terms of size, it's almost identical. You're looking at a five inch lip. You're looking at a floating spoke design. And what the floating spoke design allows you to do is it allows you to give both of those looks. So you're gonna notice this actually has plenty of concavity when you actually look at it from a side profile, the spokes bend back super, super well, and you're still getting a ton of lip. And because the spokes are actually floating, you do get the lip behind the spoke of the multi-piece wheel, which gives it the lip it solely, sorely needs for the right person. So with this, you get the extra inch and a half of lip. You also get the concavity as if you're running a lip that was an inch and a half shorter. And of course, you're playing the same game as this wheel right here, which is expensive and takes a while to get and is a little bit more difficult to manufacture. But at the end of the day, it is exactly what you want. But this is a combination of the two. So you have what started out here was brought up to here, which is something that I would probably say realistically was definitely the style and is definitely going towards the style say a couple years ago. And then you have something like this coming out for people like me that can't make up their mind on what they want. And they ultimately just want both. Rotiform is iconic with the concept one has done it. They did it on the G35 that we have here in house. And now you have all of these different designs design styles that ultimately result in like different looks depending on what you're looking for. The concavity gives it a real aggressive look. This is probably one of my favorite. This is a great option for those that want to get just a mean looking wheel that isn't going to cost a fortune, but at the end of the day is going to perform incredible. Then you have wheels like this that are pretty much what I would call a show car wheel that are definitely more oriented to grab your attention, that are more oriented to just give that wide body the perfect look. And then you also have this hybrid wheel, which is turning out to become a lot more popular than even we believe. We've seen a lot of people pick up multi-piece wheels from us that are a combination of this. The floating spoke is iconic. And I absolutely love it too, because it gives you the best of both worlds. It gives you the aggressiveness of this. It gives you the car showness of this, but it puts it both into a style that you can actually enjoy to look at at a car show, but it also looks like it has a pretty heavy set of functionality to it because it was a little bit of a more aggressive wheel. So let us know what you think. If you guys are interested in any of these wheels, check out the links below or fitmentindustries.com. If you're looking to get a quote on multi-piece wheels, we can do that too. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a comment on what you would like to see next, but I'm Alec from Fitment Industries and we'll see you later. Peace.